Hey guys, Troy here with you yet again today with a, another pen that I wanted to show you. And this is one that, not necessarily this particular pen, but this pen company I've kind of had on my radar for a little while. And it was one of those I just kind of put on the shelf. I said, eh, maybe someday. Maybe if I find the right pen at the right price, I'll go ahead and check them out. So, on the outside, there's really nothing that tells you what it is. Uh, so, let's go ahead and open it up. You open it up and eh, still nothing really there, but you, if you can recognize the logo on that box, probably not because it's not a very well-known logo, but okay, still nothing there. Here's the original sales price ticket. I did buy this used, by the way, so I did not buy it from... Uh, Joe Rogers office supply nor did I pay $75 for it but uh, let's take a keep a better look aha Laban L-A-B-A-N or you know the when I see that name I'm thinking the book of Genesis you know somebody from the book of Genesis in the Bible so uh, but this is pretty much just a generic booklet that comes with all their pens uh, because it does have information in here on roller balls and filling and that sort of thing so it's not specific to this particular pen but you open it up and you've got this right here so let's go ahead and pull it out set it down and like I said, I bought this used, and this little pillow doesn't really come up, or and it's actually not really a pillow. There's a, a little plastic um, thing in here that you actually clip this down into, uh, and uh, you know, it stays seated firmly. So, Laban, close up their box. And this just is a little tie, you know, you know a little token-looking thing with their logo on it try to make it look fancy and here we are a very nice looking pen and this one is the Laban celebration now when I look at their website this is not on the Laban website Laban is a, uh, a Thai company uh, I believe from Thailand and they started the company back in 1981 so they've been around for a while and there is a US distributor I've seen some of their pens not only online uh, but also at pen shows and I just have not jumped at them not yet um, I did see some nice fancy ones that were kinda nice a little bit more pricey than I was willing to pay for a pen that I did not know what kind of quality it was so I did not jump at it uh, but uh, I saw this particular pen and I had it on my watch list on eBay. It was being sold used. And then later on, the seller went ahead and offered it for like 30% off. And I said, all right, at that price, I'll go ahead and get it. The interesting thing of this particular pen is also still offered new uh, online. You can find it at some places like Gold Spot Pens. Sells this exact same model that looks the exact same Way as this so this being the celebration and it's called um, oyster blue for its color you've got a, an acrylic uh, and that's kind of a blue swirl it's kind of a little bit translucent you can actually see through the cap a little bit so you look at the finial here you've got the Laban logo on a silver um, a little silver disc that implants into a uh, black acrylic cap and then you've got the the ring here for the clip and you've got a nice little curvy clip and there's the little L for Laban on the clip and it's fairly serviceable it's a little stiff there's nothing really on the band here for the pen itself for the cap anyway it is a screw top and we'll pull that off here momentarily but that is a really pretty swirl and I'll be honest with you it's lighter in color um, here in my hands and when I play with it than it looked in the pictures what I saw online at the bottom you've got almost a flat top just a tiny little bit of curve to it not completely flat but just a hair uh, convex pull it apart and here you've got a nice steel medium nib with uh, the Laban name on the nib. Okay. 
and it is a cartridge converter pen. You pull it off and you've got a nice converter here. When I got it I had to flush it out. I could Someone had purple ink that was in here previous uh, to this and I put in a private reserve Lake Placid Blue which is a, a, a deep blue and We've got metal threads here, metal threads to go on the acrylic. So it's not you're probably not going to want to uh, eyedropper this thing, uh, but it does have some nice metal threads there, and that does seat nice and secure. It does have a standard friction fit number six steel nib on this thing, and I did pull it out when I did some uh, work to clean this pen up. Uh, and uh, was able to get it nicely uh, removed and friction fit back in. In terms of uh, how it feels in the hand, uh, you know, it, it's a not tremendously girthy, but it is a decent size pen, so it's not chunky. Um, it is very comfortable so if you've got arthritis in your hands you could probably use it but it's not as big as a, let's say a delta uh, like a dolce vita that kind of size pen but it is still a decent girth to a, a nice little acrylic uh, and i'll put up some statistics here in just a little bit one of the things i do like about it too is it is nice and long enough by itself not to have it posted and it does post very securely you can do that here but that really gives you a really long throw for that pen, and that cap does back weight it. As a matter of fact, it, it, um, you can see here that the, the inside of the, uh, the back of the pen only comes to here, and so from here up is pretty much just all cap, and it does, so it, it really lengthens that quite a bit. So right up to there is where the, uh, that barrel sticks into that cap, and then you've got this much sticking out at the back. So um, I have not been using this posted at all and it's comfortable enough in my big hands uh, to be able to go ahead and use it unposted. So you now it's comfortable it uh, it writes nicely and I'll show you that here in just a few moments. Uh, I'm actually fairly impressed uh, with this particular pen. So this particular Le bon pen has been my pen of the day since I got it and played with it. Um, and uh, you know, I've finally inked it up today and been using it pretty much all day long. So let's go ahead and put pen to paper, see how the steel nib does. I have not done any nib work on this particular pen and primarily I have been writing with it on like copier paper all day and it's done fairly well. So this the Le bon, and this is the celebration. With a medium steel nib. I don't mind steel nibs whatsoever, as long as it writes smoothly. That's all I care about. Whether whether the nib is gold, whether it's steel, whether it's any other material don't really care as long as it writes and writes well and that's what I demand out of my steel nibs and you'll get just a little bit of line variation but I don't particularly buy pens for line variation I show it to people anyway I like playing with flex nibs sometimes but you know I, I'm gonna use a pen for writing I care more about how it performs uh, rather than you know how it does tricks so as far as being smooth right out of the box this pen is required zero modification whatsoever I told you I put in a, a private reserve and the ink that I put in it for a private reserve was a Lake Placid blue so this pen is a nice wet writer it ha has been um, ever since I started playing with it and using it I've been very happy with its performance 
It's given me absolutely no problems. It started first time every time, every time I've picked it up and used it. And, um, you know, it, it's been my pen of the day today. By the way, if you want to see what my pen of the day is, uh, most days I do post on Instagram. Uh, and here is my Instagram user ID to go look for. Check me out if you want to follow me there, and you'll see primarily what I'm using. And, and sometimes it's I'll get on a kick and use vintage. Sometimes I'll use new pens. But I try to cycle through every day or two for my pen of the day. So here you are, the Le Bon Celebration, still available for sale at a very reasonable rate, by the way. Uh, for the, the price that I've seen on uh, sellers that still have them, like Gold Spot Pens, that's actually fairly reasonable. Uh, a very reasonable price in order to get the Le Bon Celebration. They, Le Bon has a lot of other pens that are a little higher end than this, and I have not used, nor have I tried them. Like I said, I've seen them. I've seen them online, I've seen them at pen shows, uh, but this particular one is the first one I've actually picked up and written with, and it happens to be mine, and one of my newer additions to my collection. So, I probably wouldn't hesitate to buy another Le Bon if I found the right model at the right price, something that really appealed to me. So, you may want to check them out, uh, L-A-B-A-N, Le Bon.